What we're seeing happen right now is the economy is changing and our workforce is changing. On one end, we're seeing slowdowns in our economy and we're seeing pain in the economy, which means businesses are going to have to find ways to cut costs. At the same time, you're seeing the workforce change. People want to be able to work from home. And so now if people can work from home and companies are trying to cut costs, this gives more fuel to companies to potentially find workers overseas where they can find similar labor, maybe a little bit lower quality, maybe even higher quality at a lower price. And then second, we have things like artificial intelligence coming in, which can do some of the work that humans can do for a fraction of the price. The workforce is changing and if you don't adopt with the times, well, you end up being stuck in the system because the reality is this economic system feeds off of the middle class. The middle class are the people that are making enough money where they don't qualify for government aid and now you have to work hard, you're paying the highest taxes and you're the one that's fueling the system. If you want to break out of the middle class rat race, then you have to stop doing what everybody else is doing. That means you have to change either what you do with the money that you're earning or second, how you're getting the money. I was reading a book by an economist who was essentially saying that the government needs to print more money that way they can stimulate the economy. I like to read books and learn from people who have very differing opinions that way I can understand all different sides of the financial argument but this economist was essentially saying that the government needs to print more money that way they can hand this money out to poor people and then they were talking about why they need to tax the rich because when rich people make more money they are more likely to not spend this money and put it into the economy because when rich people make money they're going to either save the money or they're going to invest that money which doesn't stimulate the economy versus when you give money to the middle class or to poor people they're much more likely to spend this money which then stimulates the economy because when you have ten dollars in your hand and then you go to chipotle well now chipotle is making money and now that money is flowing through the economic system which stimulates the economy versus if you take that ten dollars and you put it in your pocket it doesn't do anything if you take the $10 and you put it into the stock market, it's not stimulating the economy. That's why this person was advocating that if you are working to stimulate the economy, you got to give money to the poor and give money to the middle class. There's only one problem with the argument. If you give more money to the middle class and you give more money to poor people and then they go out and spend all of it, well, then what happens? Now you have more money in the economic system because more money was printed and it was created and it was given to people who need it. You give this money to the middle class, you give this money to poor people and now they have more money and if they spend, let's just say the majority of it, now where does this money flow? Well, it's going to go to Chipotle, it's going to go to Walmart, it's going to go to Kroger, it's going to go to Amazon, it's going to go to Apple. Now these corporations make money and who makes money then? Well, yeah, the workers continue to get their salary, maybe they get a little raise, but then it's the investors, it's the people that own these corporations that get to reap the big rewards because now they have bigger profits. Why do they have bigger profits? There's more dollars in the economy, people have more ability to spend, and people spend more, which means now the owners of these companies make even more money. This is where now the first thing you have to understand is what are you doing with the money that you earn because most people, and this doesn't have to do with you being poor, rich, or middle class, this is a mindset. Most people earn money to spend it, while wealthy-minded people earn money to invest it. It's a completely different way of looking at money because when you earn money to spend it, all you're thinking of is, man, if I can get a raise, I can buy a bigger home. If I can get a better job, I can drive a faster car. You're thinking of earning more money, that way you can have nicer things. Versus what people who want to aspire to become wealthy think is, man, if I can earn more money, I can buy more assets. I can buy another rental property. I can buy more investments in the stock market. I can invest in a business. I can fund more of my business ideas. See, it's a completely different way of looking at it because now when you're earning money to buy things, what you're doing is you're making money and then you're spending money. But when you're thinking in terms of investing, now you're making money with the goal of making more money and then you spend a little bit of it. But the goal here is to grow this, that way now when you spend a little bit of it, this little bit is way more than how much you have the ability to spend here because now you're working to earn money which is buying you assets which are making you even more money so you create a wheel that's working to build you more wealth. This is why the first thing you have to work on is what you do with the money that you earn and you have to create a system that your money is working to grow how much money you have. We have a very unique opportunity here in America that you don't really have anywhere else in the world. America is one of the few places, if not the only place in the world, where you have a system where anybody has the ability. 
if you have the ability to work hard, if you have the ability to learn, and if you have the ability to make financial sacrifices, you have the ability to make wealth no matter what skin color you are, no matter what background you come from, no matter what language you speak, no matter where your parents come from. The reason why so many immigrants from around the world, and I'm telling you from experience here, the reason why so many immigrants from around the world will literally sacrifice their life to come to this country is because this is one of the few places, if not the only place in the world, where you have an opportunity like that. You don't have these same opportunities other places. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love and while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling. <laughs>